Hello everyone, I'm Tim and I want to tell you about our new GraphQL rate limiting from Stellate. Let's get started and set it up in a few minutes. So first we create a service, in this case I create a demo store. Um, the docs recommend us to create a new configuration here and it's called rate limits and we add it to our config. So let's quickly do that. Go in here, add it. We actually lower the limit to five so we can try hitting the limit here in demo. In production you would have a high limit. Let's check it out in the playground. We go for the products and we have this. So now we send one, so we have four left, three left, two left, one left. We would hit the limit. Let's actually hit the limit by enabling this. Um, dry one helps to run this in production without, you know, you can observe things, you can try out different limits and see what makes sense. So we just set up rate limiting in under a minute. Now, we would like to rate limit different mutations and queries differently because they are not the same um, for us as a, as a, a store pro uh, um, provider and we want to rate limit the add to cart mutation differently. So we check out the docs and we have something for you. Uh, it's the so-called by field helper here. We support arbitrary functions, very powerful for rate limits and we will try that out. So instead of having this arbitrary or this baseline um, limit for all uh, requests, we now have a special limit here for add to cart and let's put it to one minute and let's apply this, submit. And now we will have a look at the add to cart mutation. Let's quickly try this out in graphical add to cart product ID one. And let's get the whole card. Actually, let's see, uh, is our store even working? Total, yes, amazing. We're adding iPhones like nothing. So that's amazing. At some point, that's it. We can't add anything anymore. That's great. So now we just have this limit for the specific mutation. And to just to quickly go back for products, this is now not limiting. Well, we would still like to limit for products. So how can we make that happen? We can make it happen by having um, a limit now by limit uh, by by field here, and this is just an array that we're returning. This is a totally normal JavaScript, but we can also uh, still have our limit below active. So we grab it here, grab the whole limit as we had it, and we now can add both rate limiting rules at the same time. So now we have IP limit and we have add to card at the same time. We will improve this a diff view that you just saw. And so let's check it out. Uh, now we're again limiting for products and add to cards. So we have this baseline of protection for all requests, but can also limit this for specific mutations. Amazing. That's what we want. Now, um, what we really want to make sure is that people who actually want to buy something in my store, that we are protecting them and that we're really optimizing for that use case. So how can we do that? Uh, what we're going to do now is increase the limit for people who are um, signed up, who are authenticated. So we would have some condition here. And if that magic condition is true, then we would want, let's, let's just say true. So TypeScript is happy. Um, and we would call it like auth yeah, limit. So we let's say 10 exit here, the same here. And we also call it auth here. So how can we now have this um, authenticated use case um, uh, part of this? Um, so we use JWT for this. With JWT, we can figure out um, if someone is actually um, able to check this out and we have a secret with which we are checking if the token is valid. So we're not just tampering tokens. Um, and now we have a new property available, request.jwt, and we can uh, access any claim. In our case, we'll just use the standard subclaim that is industry standard. So we do jwt, whoops, uh, dot sub. Uh, this is actually a unknown type because this is an arbitrary uh, value and we will replace it here as well. So we just added rate limiting specifically for um, Tim, go out of the way for JWT. So let's try that out. 
So if I'm authenticated, I will have a higher limit. Um, our secret is just called secret, as you could see earlier, and sub is in here. So let's copy that over. Let's try it out. Actually, I need to go over again. And now, okay, let's check it out. This is the normal configuration that we just set earlier. Now we want to increase that for people who are authorized. So we go with bearer here. Let's try that out. And there we go. So we just set up specific rate limiting for authenticated people having that as a higher limit, as you can see, 30 and 50, while for unauthenticated people here, just five, right? So that's it with rate limiting. It's really powerful. I highly recommend checking out the cookbook that we have in the docs here. We have many more examples, and I'm excited to see what you can do with it. Thanks.